Well, Indigenous Peoples Day is also being celebrated up in Idlewild. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price brings you inside the event, which aims to highlight the contributions. The band called the Yotes played while people enjoyed what's called a three sisters medley, corn, beans, and squash on top of flatbread. In a day such as this, where we take pause to to really thoughtfully think about, you know, the contributions that all indigenous people bring to humanity and the arts. Shalea Ben is Navajo, originally from the Four Corners area. She spent summers in Idlewild as a young kid. Now she is the executive director of the Idlewild Arts Academy. The campus hosted people, some native and some not, in recognition of Indigenous Peoples Day. The land that they live on is sacred and it has a history and there are people that belong to this land and they still have a very strong relationship to that land and it's important for us to recognize that. In the California Tribal Court State Forum, they shared that there are approximately 110 federally recognized Indian tribes. Here in Idlewild, they're recognizing many today. It's amazing to be intact of your cultural part. It's just like these ceremonies are what have been brought down and like some have been lost, but some are restarting. Peyton Andreas is a member of the Paiute tribe near Yosemite. She credits her father's knowledge of the land in helping her maintain some of her cultural traditions. We pick the pine nuts out of the pine cones and we have a pine nut ceremony where we roast them together with our tribe. Andrea shares a lesson in how to make flatbread, but she is also still learning about her culture. Because there's fluent um, people in my tribe, so I want to be one of those people. In Idlewild, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3.